Uh, okay, <clears throat> this comes from Demon Hunting Wolf. What a great name, Monsignor Demon Hunting Wolf. Where did the nickname The Count come from? Thank you for asking a great, great question. Uh, I'm a huge horror movie fan, a huge horror movie buff. I grew up watching horror films uh, out of the city of Detroit, out of the city of Cleveland, um, watched a lot of horror films, and hosted horror films. Uh, when I first moved here to Las Vegas in um, 19... 88, late 88, I was involved in a television station, Channel 33, uh, and uh, they wanted a horror movie host, a late night horror movie host to host horror films, and uh, I got elected to be the guy to host horror films, and we developed a character named Count Cool Rider, Count Cool Rider, CC Rider, um, was uh, the biggest, he was a vampire, which was the also the biggest uh, Elvis fan that was a vampire living in Las Vegas, and that was the character. And I used to host on television here in Las Vegas, I used to host horror films, 89 to 2000, uh, in, here in Las Vegas, uh, late night on Channel 33, Saturday nights at 10 o'clock, uh, it was Saturday Fright at the Movies with your host, Count Cool Rider, a vampire that loved the king, that loved Elvis, and, uh, and that's where the nickname The Count came from. So behind the scenes, I was doing uh, cars, my cars, my bikes, was, was the love, was the hobby, and uh, the city of Las Vegas uh, knew Count Cool Rider, knew The Count, and so when I decided to turn my hobby into a business, uh, the, the handful of gentlemen that I worked with and myself, we said, what do we call ourselves? Let's call ourselves Count's Customs, because everybody in Vegas knew the Count. So we thought that uh, Count's Customs would just be a local Las Vegas hot rod chopper shop. And uh, I did not know at the time that it would become a worldwide uh, company. And so now Count's Customs is known around the world. And ironically enough, it, it, it all stemmed from being a vampire here in Las Vegas, which, if truth be known, I'm still that vampire. This comes from R. Pro Thero. Yeah, we'll go with that. What was the first car you loved? As a child, the first car I loved as a child would be a C3 Corvette, um, early edition C3 Corvette. So that would be anywhere from 68 to 72 with the, uh, the chrome bumpers front and rear. Uh, that car got my undivided attention as a young man and still does to this day. Great question. Thank you. This comes from uh, Prakor, P-R-A-K-H-O-R, 2503. Oh, my gosh. Your favorite rock band. My favorite rock band. I cannot give you, I cannot give you a favorite rock band. I just can't. It's like it's like when somebody asks me, "What's your favorite car?" I can't give you a favorite car. Um, I'll do my best to give you a fistful of my favorite rock bands, um, and this is no particular order. So uh, I, I know I know Led Zeppelin is in there. I know the Doors are in there. I know the Eagles are in there. I know Queen is in there. I know In Excess is in there. I know that's always shocking when I say in excess because it's the 90s, but come on, man. Michael Hutchins was phenomenal, as was the entire band. But I have so many more. It's really difficult, but you just got five out of me. This comes from uh, PMTRK1790. How hard is it to deal with difficult customers? Uh, it has to be hard with some people. 
but you can't please. It's true. Uh, difficult customers, uh, it's a tough thing, man, because, you know, you always want to make the customer happy. Customer is always number one. And um, even though we find ourselves in a position here at Counts Customs where, where we get to do the things that we love to do, you still want to please the customer. So a customer brings you a vehicle and they want a particular thing. You do your best to deliver what they want. Uh, but as an enthusiast and as a builder and as a, a true car lover, I try my best to direct people in the right direction. So sometimes it's difficult to guide customers in the right direction. Sometimes they think they know what they want. And sometimes they're right on the money. Uh, but sometimes they need a little guidance. So you got to work with them a little bit and try and guide them in the right direction. And it's tough, man, because you don't want to insult people's taste. But uh, sometimes when they're, when they're a little off, you try to help them out, get them in the right direction.